welcome back to Kaleo Games. I finally got the game I've been talking about, CrossCode. It's an old, old game. Like, not like old in the 1990s, but recently it came out. And by recently, I think like last year, maybe between 2013 and now. So it's not like that old, but the style of game it is, it's old. It's like a 2D action RPG. It reminds me of the early 2000s Game Boy Dragon Ball Z game where the people are this small and you gotta fight and it's great. So I'm excited to jump right in. I played the demo. I enjoyed every moment. So here is CrossCode. Oh, great. Puzzles. Intended difficulty. Less enjoyable or even inaccessible. Well, at least I can tweak it. I'll keep it where it is, though. Because I know B. I know you can hear me. Where is he? Shizuka, I have to ask you to leave. So, you're keeping him here? What do you think you're doing? Time is running short, we don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath, is that it? I'm gonna talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. But also get in your way. Shizuka, please don't do this. Shizuka gonna do what she won't, okay? Ah, fight. He's just chilling. Oh, fight time. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? Oh shit! Hold. I don't like that. Why is it right bumper? Like, why isn't like A or something? Or some shit. I went to change that. Right bumper attack. That's stupid. You have to do way better than that, obviously. But why is right bumper hitting? And like, like I don't like stupid. You know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You just won't listen. Cold based, how very creative. Did she change her paradigm? Oh, she did. Ooh, ooh! Be it? I tried it. Dead. Weak to heat, how surprising. I mean, yeah, fire beats ice. Always and forever. Almost there, are you though? If you interrupt him, all of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this. So, it never should have happened in the first place. Fight me, boy. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. Right trigger. B. B. That's tough. You can throw as many enemies at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Dot dot dot. Jesus. Can I like explore? Oh, I, mean, I guess I can explore, but there's like, oh, it's like a portal? Hmm. Oh, what the? Well, I guess we're just uh, walking up the street. He looks fine to me. Satoshi! Sister. What do you think you're doing? You're in no condition to do this kind of work now. He's just on a computer. All you should do is rest. He's sitting in a chair. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? Same. I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finished this and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi. Stop it. Tough, man. It is done. No! I mean, he just passed the fuck out. Shizuka, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. Just promise me that you will get away. Please. Dang, that's tough. Mm, mm, mm. You know, for a game designed off of like old school shenanigans, 
this design pretty well. I love how there's like a green green trim around me that bothers me. Is that supposed to be a green trim? Here we are. Initializing avatar. Who was no oh, same girl, right? But didn't she have purple hair? Hold on. There you are! Initialization successful. Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Apparently, well, something just had to go wrong. But you understand me, correct? Okay, we'll make it work somehow. You are probably confused about the situation, correct? Alright, let us take small steps. Do you remember VRPs? Virtual ricochet projectiles? Balls? Okay, you seem to remember... Carla, we are ready. Please initiate the training sequence. Okay, VR VRPs are your most central tool and weapon. They're basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with... I'm gonna call them burps. So give it a shot, or rather, a throw. I need to move my face because it's in the way. i move it right here. R to aim, RB to throw. I don't like that. It's like awkward. I feel like it should be something else to, I don't know, like right trigger. Dang, I'm just all in the way. Maybe if I go here, I'll put myself at the top. Nice work. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. This guy. Aim with the cursor towards the edge of the screen to extend your move. Something triggered about verps are not affected by gravity. Thus, no matter how far you throw, verps will not fall on the ground. You sure? Uh, oh. Oh, I, to, I don't like this aiming mechanism. It's like weird. It's like clunky. What did I miss? Oh. I might have to do, uh, what do you call it? Com computer buttons. Okay, next let's enable the charge mode. Charge mode activated. You activated charge verbs by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. Oh, shit. Charge mode allows for the throwing of larger verbs. Those charge verbs will ricochet on walls. That is the reason for their name, you see. Using charge verbs, you can hit the target with the red circle. <laughs> Easy enough, right? Oh, I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, enough practice with the verbs. It's about time we put you down on your feet. Carla, we're done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. Cool. Hey there, girl! Welcome to our cozy cargo hall. Oh, look, she got locks like me, or maybe those are braids, I'm unsure. My name's Carla, nice to meet you. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently, there's an issue with her speech synchronization. She still understands us, though. No way! Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Nonverbal communication, you know? Atta girl! Still, kinda would like to know your name. Sergey, Sergey, Sergey. I'm gonna say Sergey because, like, anyway. Can you help us out here? Right. Her name is Leah. Leah, well, ain't that sweet? Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. Ball thrown and the like, you know. And I got just the thing prepared for you. Follow me. <laughs> I can save the game. Oh shoot. When in doubt, save it out. Cool. Alright, let's get started. Your task is to reach the door at the other end of this room. Just don't mind me, I'll just stick around and keep an eye on you. Well, I might give you some hints if you ask nicely, you know? Before we do that, is there a way to change these controls? Okay, that should be. Yeah, I like that better because right bumper is freaking weird. Never mind the visor, I just need this to see what you're doing. Right. 
do not worry about it for now. We will explain it to you later on. Okay, so. Man, this I'm gonna have to switch to like the aiming mechanism, like I get it, but it's like kinda wonky. Okay. Be it. I should have hit that. Okay, well. Maybe if I hit this here. Cool. So why can't I hit this one? Are you fucking? Okay, I'm. I'm sure as to why I'm not hitting this one. There has to be a way to get this one. But I'm just not. Uh, I'm just misunderstanding. What? I, I, I've literally been doing that this whole time. Y'all are ridiculous. Into the next stage. More switches. Oh, wait. Cool. Okay. Up the stairs. Up the box. Over here. Okay. to like Are you so I need the thing. Oh, wait a second. Maybe this will help. There we go. I was like, what the hell? Makes more sense now. <laughs> puzzles, y'all. Puzzles. Something I struggle with. This one's your favorite. Here you can go wild on these robot mice. See, this would be much easier if these losers didn't freaking move. It's definitely easier to aim on PC. Yeah. Oh. I can't. Okay. Fine. And you're dead. What if I wanted to jump on the other side? Great. I mean, I guess I don't have to. There's two more, but I can't get up. So there's one in the corner over here. Oh. Hiding in the seat. I guess this is considered tutorial mode. Come on. Also, the aim reticle isn't really like a reticle. Because it doesn't like aim to them, it kind of just aims in their general vicinity, which I guess is fine. But I feel like it's also not accurate to the extent that it could be. Yeah. Welcome to the Rat's Fortress. I mean, okay, and then we jump up here. There's just, like two more left. Is that all of them? Hey. So I've already done all of this before. For the most part. Whoa, slow down there, girls. A short warning. Here you'll meet your first 
real enemies. And by real, I mean those things will in fact attack you. Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still, if you do get beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. Uh, that means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. Ah, just a moment. Let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. Dash activated. Oh. Dash is essential in battle since it helps you to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right he is. Now please enter to the right in order to proceed with the ass kicking. Press left trigger on movement to dash. Though only up to three times in a row, you can dash any time, even while aiming. Good luck in there. Good luck. Oh, shit. Hit them with charged balls to cancel their attack. Okay. Easy enough. Three more. Come on. Shit. Oh! Y'all are trying it today, right? Oh! And I. Oh! Simple enough. Yes, that was awesome, girl. Sergey, you weren't kidding. I'm gonna say Sergey. Sergey. It's Sergey. It has to be. Yeah, that sure takes me back. She's just like, what the fuck? Hey, champ. Get your adrenaline down again for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. Oh, I see that got your attention. Sergey, you finished? Yes. Unlocking virtual proximity impact now. Anyway. Great. With those close combat strikes called BPI, you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only them close ones, of course, you got that. Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will ya? Press the right trigger without touching R to perform a close combat attack. Alternately, press X. Great, I like X better. That's a better option. Like, why would I press right trigger? Like, I feel like I would just press the wrong thing. Wait there for a sec! Yeah, yeah, I know. A second waste. A second waited is an attack wasted. Still, you should know that your strikes has have enough punch to interrupt some attacks, so you can just pummel your opponents while giving them a chance to strike back. Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get them. Close and fast and whack them over the head. Great. Nice move. I didn't even see it coming. Come on, show them the right hook. Oh, come on. Y'all ain't nothing. Standard VPI was not modeled after boxing. Such smarty pants. Another victory for our fearless gladiator, Leah. Eight of them. A boxing gladiator. Well, look at all those cowards ganging up on you. But don't panic. Just keep moving and strike fast. Great. I love punching. Oh. There's something in here. Amazing work. Numbers sure can't beat skill. And he just crossed the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it is about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is. But let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Good idea. Best not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah, right this way. the heck all right up to the bridge oh yeah Leah just a heads up the captain's kind of grumpy don't worry about it that's just the way he is great a grumpy captain cap I'm back with the report I see go on the initiation a total cinch here's the avatar names Leah Aye. Hard to miss that last. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns there. Wait. You didn't... Didn't... Wait. Don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess you started down in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergei is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your headset. Hello there, Jet. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed, you're still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You know, I'd never travel to sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you two will be ready to travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? 
Besides, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling champion or champ? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Lee a small combat lesson. You're telling me that we last is up for a battle? Oh, you bet she is! Right, we'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're dismissed. You, you, can shut up, you, you can show the last around the ship. Don't you stir up any trouble. Alright, Captain. Come on, Leah. It's time for some fresh air. Welcome aboard the MS Solar. MS Solar, in case you forgot already. Quite the ship, huh? You know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Rhombus Square. That's something to look at. Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leah there? Seeing Rhombus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergey. Follow me, Leah. So, I'm not going to follow her just yet. I'm going to end this part right here. In the next part, we're going to follow uh, Carla and see what she got for us and figure out where Rhombus Square is and maybe fight some people. It seems calm. I also might be playing on PC while well, using the computer keyboard stuff as opposed to my Xbox controller, so we'll see. But in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. Be the best you, you can be. Make good choices. And most importantly, stay saucy.